So Cedric, yes, you're telling you're telling me that the illusion magic people aren't the best fighters in the world. You mean using dreams to trick people is not strength? Actually, I just I figured as much that like you know if you have these sword people and all these other people that you know maybe maybe the illusion magic people will be the best fighters, but I don't know. Like, that might have been a big twist for me. <laughs> uh, I think being able to tear someone off their uh, legs with a swing of your arm is probably stronger, Mike. Yeah, probably. But yeah, oh my god. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do. We should really, this should really be two parts because, like, good god, chapter eleven could be its own episode. I mean. it, it, <laughs> look, uh, corporate's not gonna be too disappointed this time. This is easily gonna be twenty minutes. Yeah, you were short by like a minute and ten seconds or something. <laughs> a minute and ten seconds. I'll trust you on that. I can't remember. <laughs> I think uh, it was a minute thirteen. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, holy crap. Um, Hold on, I got one thing to say real quick. Welcome to Trust Me It's Good. This is episode 3 and we're going through chapters 11 to 15 of Unsold by Will White. Now, one last thing before I let you go again, Mike. Um, if you are actually new to the series and listening to this, don't watch any other videos on my channel except the podcast videos. Spoilers abound. You've been warned. I almost did that. Like, I, 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 I went, you, you linked me the video, and I subbed to your channel, and I was like, oh, wait, no! <laughs> and, like, I immediately, like, unsubbed, and then I saw the video I just watched, and I continue watching, and I, like, recommended it, and I was like, hi, I don't want to see any more videos like this. <laughs> don't show me anything else. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, good idea, don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, you were gonna say it. Sorry, uh, what was the girl's name? Uh, which girl? We Space talking? girl. Spa- uh, Surreal. Surreal. <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> um, yeah, that chapter was incredible. Um, it was kind of like everything I wanted, where it was a uh, a splash, so to speak, of all the ways that he could be really cool. Like I don't know, I just like I liked how how the world building was very uh, PC. Like they didn't laugh, they didn't like linger too long on any individual thing. Like she was showing him like, oh yeah, like the cloud girl and like the guy who was like literally punching like a sea monster in the face for fun because he wanted to eat it. <laughs> like <laughs> it's just, it was some good stuff. Like I don't even know where, and she's like, oh yeah, and like even all these people are like super weak and like I could literally just like tear this world in half by like winking at it if I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> and, like <laughs> Or even just like, and like there's the, um, the... Uh, what's it called just basically levels of this like scale as you go up like there's that whole thing with her and then you you hear Lyndon say in another situation when he's in the the court of the nine cloud court he yeah. he says like these people could have me killed with a gesture yeah so it's just like that's his version it's like how far up do we go like how fucking extreme is this well like to be fair pretty much anybody could do that <laughs> like, yeah, he, true. Is, this, he is like beyond this, like I, worthless in the eyes of the world i believe last uh episode you called him a worm and i just want to say re experiencing this with you has just reminded me how much of a worm he can really be he's the wormiest of worms and i fucking oh my god it. yeah that's a good lead-in uh, for like <laughs> literally everything he does but remember before i was like oh man i hope Lyndon becomes a character and like i can see a character Lyndon, please stop <laughs> Please stop. Stop doing this to me. I want to like you. <laughs> I liked you at first. I understood your circumstances. Please. I love it, dude. Stop being a dick. <laughs> it's, it's not even that he's a dick. Like, he's just like, you know, this is like a, this world inspires you to do this kind okay. of thing, right? No, no. Lyndon. Lyndon is the dude who's sitting with you in the back seat of the car during the vacation. He's like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> he's I'm not, technically though. not touching no, you. No, that's not fair. <laughs> no, that's true. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's cool him being like clever. I and mean, he's like, no, <laughs> he is, he keeps getting like, it's like, oh, you, you got up to this top of this hill. Like, how did you do that? It's like, it's like, like you weren't, there's no way you did it on your own. He's like, well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say I couldn't like get up here by any, uh, you said I could get up here by any means. And I, I did. I'm here. <laughs> well, yeah, he doesn't really specify. Like I didn't really go straight like, up the staircase. I, I can see him having like huge, like spirally glasses and just being like, well, actually, <laughs> 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 te- technically I'm allowed to do this. I like, didn't say I couldn't. <laughs> there is no rule that says a giraffe can't play basketball. <laughs> don't, get me, like, don't get me wrong. Like Elder Whitehall's a piece of shit, but you're kind. You're like kind of in his shoes. They're like, I feel you, bro. This guy, like, fuck this kid. Oh, man. <laughs> I like, I like Lyndon, but <laughs> it's like I could see his situation developing him as a person, and it's like it's really funny. Like I wasn't, 
I saw him getting the shit beaten out of him, like, coming from, like, a mile away. And mm-hmm. I was like, it was almost cathartic to have it finally happen. It's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, dude, that's obviously going to happen. He's got his uh, <laughs> Just Desserts twice now, by the way. Oh, yeah. Although I don't think anything will top the first time, but... <laughs> yeah. All right, nothing's going to get, like, beat getting split in half. Uh, but I want to roll back real quick, uh, just for that, because that first chapter is so big. Um, and oh I want to say... It really was. Not only just re-experiencing this myself again, but like we actually did go listen to it right after recording. We did. That's yeah. why. That's why I'm like, it's interesting that like I should be super hazy on that mm-hmm. because like I I'm very hazy on the stuff I listened to for chapters twelve to fifteen, and like I literally just this like read them like today and yesterday. Mm-hmm. Whereas like for me, chapter eleven is still like crystal clear in my mind yeah. because like it is so like it, it was so interesting like well we we're, we're very much in Lyndon's shoes in this case yeah where you're really like it's something it's so unforgettable because you've had such a kind of mundane shitty ex- existence until then yeah right? well like i thought it was really cool that like you know he saw all that amazing like epic like surreal level like not you, i mean I, the actual word surreal i know like, i i hate will for that like he that's 100 percent intentional yeah but like like <laughs> surreal level uh stuff uh, and then, like, he comes back, and then, like, the guy, like, surrounds him in shadow, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. like what is this gimmick? <laughs> Dude, I just had, like, the hottest chick in the universe, like, show me he's the like, entire world. All right. I-, I can show you the world, like, just, she just carpet-rided me around the fucking universe. He's like, I've, I've seen some shit. This is, this doesn't bother me. Like, it's it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> do your do your weird magic and stuff. I just, I just, just ripped from my legs. Like. And, and it's funny, because, like, I, I forgot, like, because we did the exp- that was like the big exposition chapter, and then I like jumped back in on like chapter twelve, um, like just yesterday, and like it had been like a week essentially, and since I read last time, so mm-hmm. it was like I was reading and like and they were talk- doing that duel, and then Lennon's like, "All right, I have bees," <laughs> <laughs> and like I had forgotten about it, yeah, so well, like it was so funny for it to be like, <laughs> what? like oh, like a big jar of of ghost bees will solve my problems. <laughs> yeah. And that, that, like, that's good. Like, that's really, like, it's, that's, of course, like, that's in, because of your own reading, right? Because you were actually, like, a week apart. But he, that's, like, his experience, right? It felt like it was forever for him. He was like, oh, shit, bees. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was, like, probably my favorite moment of, like, like, obviously, like, my favorite moment would be, like, chapter 11, just the entire thing. But, like, coming back into it at chapter 12, like, Chapter twelve to fifteen, I think one of my like my favorite moment was literally just like, "All right, ghost bees, <laughs> <laughs> get them." <laughs> I just I don't for some reason it really it stuck in my mind. I really love when when they're just like they kind of turn to him and they're like, "Task complete." Yeah, just, I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, bros." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you did. I would high five you, but you're made of stingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the reason I brought up, I mean, of course, I just wanted to talk about that chapter in general. But for me, um, I we listened to it once when I was here. And then I listened to it again just to refresh myself. Um, also, also specifically because I'm picking up a lot myself. This is a very re-listenable um, series. So I, like, I I'm not going to say what they were, but I picked up specific details. Being like super into the world building, the uh, theory crafting and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw a couple things and I, so I just went back to confirm. I'm like, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, this dude, uh, this, this worm... This baby boy. Oh my god. He, um... I loved his every every solution to every problem was just, like... <sighs> yeah, like, well, actually. Yeah. You know? Like, like, oh, you're gonna... You can't break the, your honor. Yeah. He's like, I have no honor. I'll just, like, go through this as best I can. Comes back to reality. He's like, okay, like, I, I don't give a shit. I, fuck the copper. I don't care about him. I'm gonna be this guy. I'm gonna shame my clan, because you guys are fucking nothing. Yeah. Hey, Captain Elder Baby Guy. Um... Can I go to your school if I beat this dude? Yeah, you're, you're not going to win. And of course, he wins with the Hornet Bros. Yeah, he, he win, wins with the bees. Yeah. Um, so that was like, pretty good. So yeah, he uh, he gets on a fucking uh, cart. And they cart him up to the first challenge to get into the school. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like what is it? Like three disciples, including him? Yeah. He had three potential disciples. And the uh, Elder Whitehall's like, you walk up these stairs to this death cloud. And if you make it to the top, congrats, you're in the school. Try not to fucking die. Yeah, and if you make it up before before sundown, like we'll give you a, a handy dandy item. And yeah. he's just like, he's just immediately like, "Fuck that, dude!" Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he "No, knows. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit your ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool." <laughs> so yeah, he just basically like he scams some poor little like like helper boy into like carting him up, 
Like, what a fucking worm. I love that. He's such a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, like, I, I like uh, sitting myself in his shoes and just being like, man, they're going to be mad, but I'm going to be right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, oh, by the way, um, one of your desires, you're like, just just show me more space. I think you said, like, just give just give me anything, right? Yeah. You, you got your space, kind of. I did. Oh, my yeah. God. I, I got it in spades. I'm really worried now because, like, I've, I've had, like, so going into doing this, like, whole series, I expected my wants to not be what would ha- happen. But mm. then I was like, man, I really want, like, you know, Lyndon to, to oh, empty palm everybody. And then and then it happened. And then I was like, man, I really want to know more about space. And that happened. So now I'm, like, kind of worried <laughs> about wishing for more stuff. <laughs> well, it's also just, like, at, at what point does it become, like, okay, I'm, like, I literally just in my own head, like, I could probably write this myself. But, yeah. yeah. So, like, can I talk about what I want to happen next? Because this actually bleeds into, like, what... Do we want to do that, like, right now? Because or? this actually goes okay. into the next... Oh, actually, I'll talk about the next... So, he, he does the thing, and then he's going to be offered the items, uh, and then he looks through them all, and, like, is his immediate thought is, like, how can I steal everything here? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I was like, my man! <laughs> like, holy shit! <laughs> and then he, like, blatantly asks the guy, he's like, hey, how do I steal everything here? <laughs> And the guy's like, grown up. guy's like, um, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> By the way, what's the name Elder Rom? He's like, what a fucking dope. He's the chillest old dude. He's like, yeah, yeah I like you. You want to see my stuff? <laughs> I got so much stuff. You should hey, come check it out. Go ahead and try and steal it. You're going to get your arms cut off. But... Yeah. Look at my toys. Because <laughs> he's like, he, he would, I think if you saw the grand hall of like good, cool items, he would be very different. Yeah. Like he would be way more serious. But this is like, this is like toys and shit to him. Like he doesn't care. So he's just like, yeah, look at all my cool stuff. This mm. one's like, you know, I don't know. Fuck, there were a lot of there were a lot. There was of a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Um, what was your particular favorite? Oh my god. So this is like, I had a particular favorite going in, but then I realized that I'm an idiot. Um, so like, I was listening to him like doing all the things, and I was like, pick the clap, 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 pick the clap. <laughs> Come on, Goku, <laughs> pick the clap, pick the clap. <laughs> I didn't get Goku and Smash. I'm gonna fucking get him in cradle. <laughs> There's still time. Uh. So, yeah, <laughs> I was like, pick the cloud, pick the cloud. And he's like, oh, I didn't pick the cloud. I understand why Linden picked what he did, mm-hmm. but at the same time, man, why didn't he pick the cloud? But then I realized just now, just in this moment, I'm an idiot for even thinking of picking the cloud. The sword is a cloud, but you could stab people with it. <laughs> it's almost like, it's like basically the Eastern Asian version of Thor's hammer. <laughs> it's yeah, like, like dude, I, I would love to piece. surf on a fucking sword and just like, could you imagine just like, uh, you're, I mean, you're a skateboarder. What's a trick? That involves, like, spinning your, your skateboard around in, like, a clockwise fashion. I'm gonna kickflip over Mount Samara, then empty palm my motherfucker. No, I wanna, like, kickflip a guy's head off, and then, like, land, <laughs> yeah. land back on my sword. <laughs> Sacred Beast? Fuck him. Remnants? Like, who cares? Like, surf through the air on, on a sword, do, like, an ollie, or whatever it is, have it cut through a dude, and then land back on it. Like, that's the dream. <laughs> it's, like, ex- uh, it's, like, extreme in the other, like, the exact opposite direction of... Um, like crawling in my skin, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the, like that was like, fuck. Like I could have been like, like, easy, like, if he did that, he could easily be like an ad, in an ad for selling like Capri Suns in like the nineties. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> the most got that sharp tart taste. Mm. We was like sitting at Will White sitting at a crossroads, like elixirs. The <laughs> He's like, this can go one of two ways. <laughs> Fucking Linda needs to get that sword and advertise elixirs and little little fruit pouches. I'm down for that. Like, make that like your big prediction. Like this yeah. is what's gonna happen. No, no, that's not my prediction. Yeah. My prediction uh, is that I want him to steal everything. Okay. So that's like that's what you think is gonna happen, or what you this want. This is to what happen? I want to happen. This is what you want to happen. <laughs> Which at this point I feel like is indistinguishable from what will actually happen. Oh, yeah. So we'll go into, like into the rest <laughs> afterwards. But yeah, so okay, um, my favorite I think was probably the um, I like the Sylvan River scene. Yeah, that thing's like I just yeah okay. So cool. I was thinking about that one too. Like so, I, I'm just like the potential there. I'm just like what? It, what the yeah. fuck is this? So like for me as a person, I would take the flying sword. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think like because is, like that is so fucking cool. Yeah, <laughs> me as a person, I would have just I would have gone with the cloud because I don't like even as a skateboarder. I don't like you. That's some like that's a precipice, dude. Yeah, that's but, a like, blade's edge precipice, literally. Yeah, but like people could steal your cloud. Ain't nobody stealing a sword. People would come on. Yeah, dude. It would stab somebody. If you if you try to steal like a sentient sword, it would fucking stab you. Be like, no. It's not sentient. You're just like you're 
Well, I mean, it's not, but... No, you're funneling matter into it into, so you can just ride straight on it or whatever, right? Yeah. Well, okay, actually, I think maybe I missed... Um, so I either misread something or maybe you misread something. I thought the way I envisioned this was, like, he would, like, like gesture or, like, swing it like Thor. And he, like, <laughs> it would just shoot him with his direction. Yeah. Can I believe... I want to I wanna believe that he would fly, like, fly like <laughs> Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog and you just, like, spin it above him. Like... <laughs> it's... Miles Swords Prower. <laughs> so good. Uh, and it, like literally, I was like, like the thing about the sword is like, I don't know how he's gonna fly on this thing, but no matter how you would fly on a sword, it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so that was um yeah that uh, was like a window shopping scene, which I was also kind of like I was gonna say earlier, the, the first, like the first chapter we read that was also kind of a window shopping scene because we're window shopping the cradle, right? Yeah, but, I but yeah as. I wanted him to pick the Sylvan Seed, though. Yeah. Like, when I was reading, I was like, what I would pick is the sword, but I think I really want him to pick the Sylvan like, Seed. Because it's like, oh, you need pure, like, Madra to, to make it grow. And it's like, you have nothing but pure Madra. And then you would have a little buddy who would love you, and, like, you could ride him around and have adventures. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, it's like, it, it would serve well in the later chapters because of the fact that, you know, it's a sentient creature. It's your buddy. Right? Mm. I understand him picking the, the fox thing for sentimentality. He but, was... Like, prescient enough pragmatic enough to realize like i'm gonna get my fucking ass kicked dude so he went with something a little bit more uh, i guess practical i guess on. but like i would have gone with like but the thing is like he was already under the under the impression like okay i might just get straight to copper and be pretty quick to iron like just from elixirs alone in the first week or whatever so with that in mind i was like pick the cloud because then you have like an easy escape plan and you should have enough magic to use it right? yeah I, I just like if he picked the little buddy like he would wouldn't be so alone. Yeah, I feel like that's a factor. He needs to like. Well, keep in mind, this is like this episode. We got our first glimpse at Yaren, so he might like hang with her or something. Yeah, yeah, but like, who doesn't want a magic spirit buddy? Like, True. fuck, man, I but would he... love, I would love a little, a little spirit buddy who would like follow me around and like drink my essence. <laughs> 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 Reli- like suckling on the teat of your core. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, but that'd be yeah, that'd be really cool. I would have loved having something like that. Um, yeah, so yeah. I, I want him to steal everything. Yeah, I want. Him, there's still time. That'd he can nice. still get this little little buddy. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. Um, he so yeah. So basically, he's like, okay, uh, I'm gonna pick the uh, the white cloud fox or picket things. They're yeah, the the boundary, the the boundary, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the boundary. boundary, and um, it came in handy. Yeah, as soon as he does, like Derek reaches the top of the stairs, he's like, "Wait, the fucking unsold guy here!" Argh! Just like immediate rage. So he's like calling him out, like, "Come out here, let me kick your ass." And he's like, okay, just let me shut up my, my little poles. If that's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he literally, like, he's like, Elder, please go to the, keep him busy for a second. Runs out the back, sets up the boundary out back. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, like, <laughs> quickly. Comes out. I, I, I love this part because he like, immediately, he's like super clever. I love that. He's really quick thinking, quick on the speed. So he sets it up, comes out front and immediately like starts shit talking way beyond his, like, yeah. his pay grade. I need, to, I need him to come at me. Yeah, so he's just like, do I need to teach a lesson to this dog? Like, this Kazan dog? The, the dude's just like, Oliver, can I kick his ass now? So, uh, he does kind of kick his ass in a way. Kind of. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I just love him, like, setting up that stuff. It's like, it's like, something like hey, that per- that girl you like is over. She showed up randomly. He's like, quickly run to your picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> you know, you can like, straighten your sheets and just throw everything onto your bed. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I hope he doesn't notice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on in <laughs> but yeah he immediately gets his comeuppance though um because that's like uh, um the elder or whatever he's like hey you're pretty clever but that's not sustainable and then immediately like the next day he wakes up like break of dawn like uh, no one's gonna follow me i'm gonna be the first one to get my first serving of like elixirs and stuff gets his elixirs leaves the elixir like uh whatever shack i guess yeah and then Derek shows up and he's like just literally breaks his jaw what item did the the caretaker guy want him to take? Was it the flower? Uh, yeah, the flower was his thing. That like I think, think maybe the parasite. Right? I think he just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is fucking useless. Nah, he, he, seemed, he seemed like he seemed honest enough. Like he seemed he seemed honest enough. He seemed like a good guy. Yeah, I like, guess he actually like he truly like kind of admired like I. It's a doggy dog. Like this is the most libertarian motherfucking universe ever, and he but he appreciated that like in this world. 
you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, unfortunately, gets his first week's elixirs stolen and everything broken. Literally, like three bones broken or some shit. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. it's it's fine. He's got his spirit juice. He, yeah. He's sucking his little spirit juice for a bit. So some other really nice, yeah, like uh, disciple drags him to the med hall, and in the med hall, he learns that a bunch of motherfuckers are having trouble with a teenage girl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see that. Like, I don't know. It'd be good. I hope it's not like a romantically interest though. I would like it to just be like another character because yeah. it's like too. I don't want that at this point. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, I understand. Um, I, don't, I, I mean, other than like, unless like, what the fuck's his name? Like, the Metal Gear Solid guy is part of this production. I don't think Love is gonna bloom on the battlefield. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's, I, I think just, I just want to make a really dumb pun. I'm sorry. I think we should like add a thing, and every section is like what I think is going to happen, what I want to happen, what I don't want to happen. Oh, I, th- I can th- add that at, at this point because now I actually know what I don't want to happen. This is literally a document I can edit. So keep the uh, keep the eye on the prize, Lyndon. <laughs> keep the eye on the prize. Don't go for the girl. <laughs> yeah. You got so much shit to do. Don't, don't get distracted by pussy. <laughs> literally, everyone is going to die. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm curious. I've been meaning to ask you this. So you've got a couple of brief glances at. You even had a decent description of urine. Uh, Yerin, anyway, what do you think her hair looks like? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. I believe the description was her hair was cut perfectly straight. What does that invoke in your mind? I want to believe a bowl cut. <laughs> really? I want to believe her to look really? like Rock Lee. Oh, really? <laughs> really? You think she has a bowl cut? Is that So she's got a bowl cut. Do you hear that, Discord? She has a bowl cut. Anyway... I, I had a discuss- I'm scared now. <laughs> I had a discussion about her hair. Uh, that sounds really creepy in the wrong context. <laughs> On Discord. In what context does that not okay, sound so creepy? I was literally <laughs> listening to this, like, the, the, the chapters here, and I was like, because it was fresh in my mind. Um, that description, because this has been on my mind as I've been reading. Yeah. Um, so having it fresh in my mind, I'm like, okay, no, I have to go back, because I've heard, I've seen fan art, I've seen other people, like, talk about what she looks like. So I went to Discord, I'm like, Uncomfortable Truth of the Day. Year and Terror is probably a bull cut. And then <laughs> I got into discussion with some, uh, a couple of people. And, oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty so. funny. I was really tempted to look up fan art of a uh, quad wing angel from like last time. Quad <laughs> but, then, but then like I, did, I opted not to. I was like, no, what, what am I going to gain from this? Either A, I'm going to run into a spoiler. B, I'm going to see probably <laughs> what I angels. don't want to see. Like, like, do I really want fan art of this? No, I don't. No. I'm all right. Okay, so we'll just kind of recap real quickly. Uh, your desires? Uh, I want him to steal everything. Steal everything. I mean, like, I, I mean, really, not not everything from that place specifically. Uh, it would it'd be nice to see him steal something from there. It would be nice to see him steal something from like the grand hall. That would be sick. That would like. If I could see anything, I would love to see him break into the Grand Hall and steal something from there. Yeah, that's steal what, everything. That's what I want. Not everything, but like if he could steal a, a, a thing, that, then I'll be happy. But if he steals something from the Grand Hall, ooh, ooh. then I get to see what's in the Grand Hall ooh. and he gets to take something. Oh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> um, um, that's what I want to happen. Expectation? Expectation? Um, I mean, obviously he's going to run into to Bowl Cut Girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, like that's that's gonna happen. He, he's gonna meet the. She's not the sword girl. He needs to meet, right? Uh, yes. Oh, she is. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I was I was like because I'm bad with names, so I yeah. couldn't remember if he was the same person. Um. But yeah, yeah so like, yeah, he, he's gonna meet her, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's gonna be like a crazy person, and is gonna be like. Oh my god, so guess what? There's like space people and like they can control time. I'm not crazy. I was in half once. <laughs> <laughs> I was in half once. <laughs> yeah, this like guy hit me and he split me in half. And then like this angel put me back together and it's okay now. And I got this little gem, this little little marble thing and it's real pretty. Um, do you want to see my fox sticks? <laughs> and she's just like sitting there thinking like, Sacred Valley's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's a bunch of illusionists. What the fuck would you expect? <laughs> and it just addles their mind like, what the fuck's this magic Super doing Super hyper, like, like, okay, if you told me that there was like a magical world where like a bunch of people who practice exclusively in illusion and worship foxes and want to become them existed, I would think that's degenerate central. <laughs> Point taken, yeah, it's just like a... It's literally like, this is escape essential, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my. <laughs> Everyone's literally just playing like a VR MMO. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> you do you. I'm oh, I'm going to be over here. <laughs> so you're going to stick safe like that? You think she's just he's just going to meet her? 
Uh, he's going to meet her and he's going to try and explain the situation. She's going to be like, you're fucking crazy. Okay. Um, and then we'll obviously not like him because of either the fact that he's crazy or unsold or both. Okay. Uh, or maybe it'll be a double negative and like, I don't know, maybe she'll like him because he's not threatening. Threatening. <laughs> yeah. Same way I'm not really that like, threatened if like a, a little tiny baby goose comes up to me and like, oh, adorable. I could eat you. <laughs> yeah. Backed into a cave by literally 15 people and this one dude comes up like, hey, want to be friends? You're like, you know what? You're not bad, I guess. You're not trying to kill me. Um, any uh, expectations for the larger book? Uh, for the larger, so book? larger series, maybe, I guess. The larger series that Linden is going to go to space. Go to space, okay. <laughs> Space, Linden. <laughs> space. <laughs> Now we're play Linden. Portal 2 shit. Um, um, and last but not least, uh, what do you not want to happen? I don't want him to fall in love. Yeah, don't fall in <laughs> don't love. Don't do it, Linden. Don't fall in love. Not yet. I mean, like, but he's like, what? How old again? He's like a, he's like a 16-year-old boy. Everything's raging. In there God there. damn it. <laughs> if she's even remotely attractive. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he's he been kind of one-minded so far. Like, he hasn't really thought, like... Ooh, I noticed this hot chick over here, like when he's walking to the archives or whatever, right? He hasn't really said anything like that. That's true, but he that... like basically said, like, here's the perfect angel woman, and that was really about it. Yeah. And he I didn't guess. say it in like a pervy way. He's like No, 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 no. I'm not talking about like a pervy yeah. way. I could I couldn't see anyone in this entire world being that way. I, I don't think he's driven by his balls at all, so I think we're good. But yeah. We'll see. Um, he's keep driven it, by his soul. Keep in mind, he was actually he was pretty happy about like seeing like, oh I actually get one. Huh. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like what a, the whole whole dealy there. It was a fucking dealy. Jesus Christ, a, it was a dealy. It was a hell of a dealy. Yeah, that's... I, it's going to be hard to top those five chapters as like, wow, that's a lot of stuff to cover. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't say, I said it would be hard. I'm acting like I'm reading the book with you. How far are we in this book now? I think we're like two-thirds-ish. We're two-thirds? Yeah. It's only like 90 to 100,000. So, Whoa, all right. Yeah. Um, that's a lot shorter than I thought. Even though, like, oh, wait, we did cover that last time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... So we're going to get through all these books, I think. Oh, probably. Easily. I'm looking forward to seeing this, like, character you told me, like, you didn't tell me about, but, like, you're like, this character is the reason I'm forcing you to listen yeah, to this. Yeah, for context, um, I not because I thought, like, he would really like the series, which I did eventually come to the conclusion of, but... What gave that away? <laughs> Was yeah. it the fact that I said, hey, I like this series? Well, no, like it's just 50 like... 50 times. Well, because like, that wasn't the first thing that came to mind. The first thing that came to mind was like, this character later in the later book, I'm just like, God, this is pretty much everything. Like, this is... Like, to be lewd. Like, you would... No, I'm not going to be lewd. Yeah. This, this is basically you. And um, All right, cool. Yeah. And then eventually I'm like, wait, wait, what am I doing? Like, I could just tell him, like, hey, you'll actually really like this anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. Um, at what point can I join your Discord without worrying about spoilers? Uh, you, you can't, I'm sorry. I can't? It's, I, <laughs> Ever? I was, Is there going to be more material coming up faster than I can read it? No, it's not that. <laughs> it's, we were having this discussion earlier. Um, it's just a weird time in both the channels that, like, theoretically, one of the channels should be, like, spoiler, like, safe, I guess. Not safe, but, like, not free, but, like, safe for new readers. Unfortunately, that's not the case right now. So uh, we're trying right. to clean it up, but, yeah, not yet. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, there's another warning for all the other new readers. But yeah, see you, I guess, in the next one. I guess so. Oh, well, corporate's going to be happy. Yeah, dude, we got like 20... Wow. (laughs) Fuck corporate. Yeah, fuck. (laughs)